Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to float vaults above your personal cryo storage. I didn't come up with this idea, my friend and legendary arc player Denzel Washington sent me a picture from another tribe that has already done this and I figured out how to do it and I'm sharing it with you, so let's get right into it. Okay, so for this personal storage area, I just made a very simple cryo fridge floor. If you would like your cryo fridges to be more flush, I have a video for that. But this is just a quarter high wall with ceilings and cryo fridges on them. And each person in this personal storage area would get nine cryo fridges. Uh, that's just like one tile each. And then we'll put a vault above them floating. And to make them appear that they're floating, we're going to just be putting tech behemoth cellar doors or the large cellar doors or the individual uh, cellar door like tiles like this that you get from the tech ceiling. So you can either set up some door frames like this, or if the wall of your base is like way over here, you can even take the ceilings and branch them out over to here, and then put on a tech behemoth door or something. Uh, that's not like cost efficient for element for this like 4x4, but if you had a 5x5, a behemoth door is the same as just a bunch of tech ceilings. And then what we're going to do to make the vaults float is we're going to just drop them onto this cellar door. So I like to use a thatch wall because we're going to have to break it later. And then some metal ceilings because they help me line up the vaults correctly. And then one extra row so I can stand on it while I place the last row of vaults. And then take out a ladder, get on it. And then go ahead, pull out the vault. And then you can use the little tabs on the metal ceiling to help you line it up. So that seems kind of center. It looks center in the middle there, maybe a little forward. All right, and I'm happy with that. I'm gonna place it. And then I am looking to place the rest of these. I'm gonna place them to the left. And I'm looking at the word vault right there in the middle of the screen and how the line of the ceilings goes right in the middle of it. And then I'm gonna go to the side and just line up those letters in the line every time and just place it there. And then I think that is the best way I can find to get this all nice and perfectly even. I don't think, you might have to fight the little slight adjustments if you have on scuba flippers. That will make it easier because you don't move as much. Pull out my vault again. And then get down that vault. And then you're just gonna go ahead and repeat on the next row and do that with all your rows. Okay, so I got all the vaults placed and they look pretty even, which is nice. Even this way where it was kind of ambiguous. Yeah, looks really good. Okay, so the one thing you have to be sure of when you drop these vaults is that this door is closed. So come over here and go to the auto open settings and go to don't auto open because if some tribe mate runs in while you are destroying this and this opens up, you're just gonna drop all the vaults onto the cryo fridges. So make sure that does not auto open and it's not open when you drop these vaults. And to drop the vaults, you have to destroy this with a weapon and not actually go into the menu and click demolish. So I'm gonna use a tech rifle, you can use a sword or something else. And you can see it drops all the vaults onto here. And now we'll go over to it and go to auto close settings, go to never auto close. And once you open it up, then all these vaults are floating and you can access them really easily. If you access like the side of them, you'll probably access the door instead, but it doesn't matter. You just open and close it as much as you need to. And then you just go over to here. I don't even need this one. I only need one snap point on that behemoth door. And then I can just go to auto close never on all of these. I still have the scuba flippers on. I'm walking so slow. <laughs> And then it appears like all these vaults are floating. So I don't love just having one personal storage vault. So I have a couple other designs. You can do four personal storage vaults onto one ceiling. You just have to either snap them together onto each quadrant of the metal ceiling and then drop them onto the tech cellar door, obviously. And if you don't snap them and you use the partial alignment mode, you can get them much closer together and I like how that looks better. You just have to separate the cryo fridge floors every other space, so it does take up a lot of room. Uh, a little bit more compact with less vaults, you can have rows of cryo fridge floors and then put two vaults 
uh, over each tile right here. And of course, this is using the partial alignment to place the vaults. And then this is if you snap the vaults together. Looking for the love. You've accomplished what few have. You've ascended.